Hey YouTube, this is a tutorial on how to play a PS3 game if you're not going on PSN um, on a custom firmware system using Multiman. So always make sure that uh, the automatic uh, login is off and that you're not connected to PSN and start Multiman. And uh, using your external hard drive or the internal hard drive, you could put your backup games that you downloaded or copied from a disk, maybe from piratebay.com. I typically torrent, download them by torrents. Or, um, you can uh, go to ps3iso.com or wherever you can find games. There's all kinds of things on the internet you can download games from. So what I just did here is I did the uh, login agreement for the first time use of Multiman. Now it's doing the installation because I just went through a video on what to do when you bugged out Multiman. You need to delete and reinstall it. Okay, so in the game column, uh, it's going to pick up anything that's in a games folder, G-A-M-E-S, all caps, on the internal hard drive or external hard drive format of 532. Just press X on the game and it's going to return you back to the home PS3 menu. Uh, you're going to see uh, a notice on the top corner, uh, game quit, no request events. All that means is the game has quit, Multiman has quit, there was no event requested, there was nothing um, perform uh, expected to launch at that uh, quit, when it quits. And then it's mounted the virtual disk. Uh, the game is a virtual disk on this PS PlayStation 3 icon just above the package manager. Hold it there for a second and you'll see it's, it's in fact that uh, game you've mounted. Just click X to start the game and you're up and running. Don't bother connecting to PSN while you're in the game. Um, I, I would uh, recommend watching another video uh, showing how to use PSN patch in order to play on PSN using a jailbroken PS3. So that's it. We're now playing the game. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.